Welcome, this is Solopreneur Success Strategies, where we talk about mindset, your website, your brand, your social media marketing, your customers, how to sell to your customers, how to, how to find your customers, how to talk about the skills and knowledge you need in your business, and free software and tools to help you save time, money, and be more productive, as well as strategy and systems, here on Solopreneur Success Strategies. Welcome. Welcome, this is Jane Gardner, and welcome to Solopreneur Success Strategies. Today on Solopreneur Success Strategies, it's Get Your Message Out Tuesday. So, of course, we're going to be talking about your messaging, and we're talking about Twitter messaging right now, and we've been doing that for a couple of episodes. Um, previously, that we looked at your brand and your messaging. We looked at your website and how you could brand your website, and we looked at Facebook and how you could also have your messages consistent over Facebook. So today, I am going to be talking about Twitter. I just remembered I've left my notes somewhere, so this is all about imperfect action, so we're going to wing it. So let's see, what have we got? Well, we've been looking at, um, for four weeks, we've been looking at Twitter, of course, and first off, we had a look at why you should be on that platform, so why you should be on Twitter. And is it your audience? Maybe we could talk a little bit more about that. What is the design of the platform? And how you can leverage the platform for your business? And how to quickly set up your presence on the platform? Or not, depending on the uh, platform, it may not be your market. So let's see what this one says. It says nothing. This is about me. I am work with my husband for 20 years in our structural engineering home office over in Western Canada. And I came out onto the internet about three years ago in order to um, help others with their um, marketing and selling and business. You to be honest, also offline and online. So we're getting your message out on today on uh, Tuesday. And let's, um, I do have a six-day training, I guess I could talk to you about that, called Build Your Own Brand, and it's at jgtips.com backslash brand. And in that training, which uh, includes email uh, messaging as well as worksheets, uh, we identify your unique benefits of your business, uh, differentiate it from your competitors, of course, identifying your core market, and of course, then naming your product or business, and then developing your brand messaging and how effective is your messaging. Reassess and refine your messaging because once you have your messaging, you can attract your ideal customer. So uh, let's go have a look at Twitter. And last week, I showed you that I had put up a new Twitter header, and I realized since doing that, that it's way too small. The, excuse me, the words on my Twitter header are way too small. And I haven't really put some of my products or service that can be of assistance to you. So of course, it's always about you, your visitor, or your customer, or whoever happens to be looking at your feed. And that's who it's all about. And it's not about you. So try to make your message header something that is all about the people who are coming to have a look at your business. So, for example, I did say overwhelmed by everything you need to know to have a business on the Internet. Just start implementing one step at a time. And that's what I'm all about, is being able to assist you in implementing and moving your best business forward. But I need to put a bit more detail in there as to what kind of things that I do. For certainly. And for those of you on audio, my Twitter handle is at Jane Gardner Biz. And of course, you need to be able to spell that. So that's J A N E G A R D N E R. Just do a search in Twitter and you'll find me. Um, so let's have a look at my profile. It's always good to have a good um, uh, picture of yourself. I wouldn't say it's a good picture of myself, but it's a picture. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. So yeah, this is my header. And as you can see, it's okay, but it's not good enough. Because it doesn't explain either of my logos and what they're doing there. 
So, but I did put in my bio um, that uh, obviously my Twitter handle, they asked for that, I think, anyway. And then I had a look at saying who my market was. So I'm an entrepreneur and online educator for 45 to 65 year olds wanting to have a first business. And then I gave some of my websites, jane Gardner, implement.club, jgtips.club, black slash programs, so that you can have a look at my programs. And they tell you when you've joined and when you were born, if you want, as well as it shows you that you have how many photos and videos you've put onto your stream. Actually, I think we we're going to look at our my Twitter insights, weren't I? Um, but anyway, uh, today we were going to have a look at um, why you should be on Twitter. So let's go back to the news feed rather than looking at my feed. So where's my news feed? It's the bird, the Tweety bird. Well, on Twitter, you can come back or not. Maybe it's just a pretty, pretty bird. Okay, so this would uh, be my feed. Um, it has some of the trending uh, topics for my area. You can change it to another area if you want to. Uh, for example, you could change it to Seattle if you decided you wanted to talk to people in Seattle or get followers in Seattle. And so it's changed the um, trending tweeters, twits, <laughs> tweets. <laughs> okay. And then what you want to do with Twitter is to follow, uh, retweet, uh, like, and make comments maybe on other people's um, posts that they do so that um, you get to know each other. Or you could even direct message. Um, so, for example, um, for I have a Twitter here post from Tim Fargo, I guess, who's following me. Because the people who follow you, as well as some other people, are always in your feed. So, <clears throat> he has a quote. A fear can hold you prisoner. Hope can set you free. By Stephen Queen, King. And today, um, so what you can do is you can reply to it, which doesn't make sense. I can retweet it. I can like it. So I'll like it. And then I can uh, share by a direct message to somebody else. I can copy the link to tweet. I can embed the tweet um, probably on my Twitter profile, which most people wouldn't want to do, and mute or block them. And I wonder what new moment is. We'll see. Use photos or videos from twi tweets in the moment or upload an Im image. Oh, interesting. So I'm using his, his, uh, his <laughs> tweet. <laughs> I'm taking it over and adding it to my moment. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but there you go. Um, okay. What's a moment? Okay. So there you go. This must be something new. <laughs> There's always something new with Twitter. So let's go back to the feed. And, um, this is, um, I can retweet this, which is about a new, um, form, uh, uh product at Product Hunt. So I could retweet and add a comment to my retweet. Um, warm filling can be boring. So great to see it can be fun. And then that would be retweeted out to my followers and be fun. And that's within um, 140 characters, if you don't know. So there we go. And already it's gone. So <laughs> tweeting is uh, always, you have to keep on, <laughs> on top of your tweeting. So let's talk about brand. <laughs> 
So I am going to always be talking about the subjects. Let me look at my profile. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll look at my profile. Okay, so my profile is all about um, implementing, about the business of having a home business. I mentioned that in here. And then I um, have a certain color, which is compatible to my website. And there's a link to my website. And then what I've done is um, I have cer certain topics. And I didn't know I spoke in <laughs> Spanish. Sorry. Someone else must have retweeted me. I'm not sure how that worked. Interesting. So this fellow or woman or whoever has taken me over. Oh, maybe that's someone in, um, I don't know how that worked. Comenci uma transmissio a vivo on a YouTube. Oh, this is this is this transmission. Oh, <laughs> I better be polite. I forgot it's live. Okay. So anyway, here are some of my branding. I like to talk about um, customer and customer service and the customer experience and how to sell to customers. I like to talk about blogging and how you can make it a business. And I like to talk about how to get uh, five steps, steps to a business on a line, for example, to help those who are thinking of getting a business and don't know about it. And then I love to talk about mindset. So I'm always tweeting about these various topics and then Anyone who follows me knows that I'm tweeting this. And then sometimes they will retweet some of my tweets so that it go further on oh, emotional intelligence. I like talking about that as well. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I forgot this is going out live. So, uh, let's see. Let's say something uh, sensible. Um, so anyway, this is what you have to do. You have to be consistent in your branding. And as they mentioned in some of my information that I was going to do, you have to make sure that you don't um, annoy people uh, with too many tweets. These are only one every hour. <laughs> as well as um, not to be too controversial in your tweets. Um, I know that there are certain politicians right now who are controversial in their tweets, but I uh, think at some point people are going to start um, following you if they don't like what you're tweeting. But if you're going to be helpful, if you're going to provide value, and if you're going to be interesting or even fun, let's go back to the regular uh, tweeting. Okay. And of course, some of them are not uh, reasonable. Um, but and there's a lot of um, quotes um, how to be a lot about food. I'll keep those ones. And then you can follow people that you enjoy uh, looking at their tweets and unfollow those that you don't like their tweets. So this is always a very interesting. And it's always a good way um, to know about the news that's happening at the moment and in other parts of the world because Twitter wants to have it to be seen as a news feed obviously um yeah so let's go back to me <laughs> sorry this is one of these days um so that's uh i'm going to next week i'll probably look at um some of the more successful twitter brands that are out there and how they brand their twitter feed as well as their twitter profile and um how they are doing it so that'll give you some ideas on let me write that down so it'll give you some ideas on um, what you should be doing and next time I'll have my notes <laughs> see you next time this is Jane Gardner at jane-gardner.com go out there and start your business Thank you for listening. This has been Jane Gardner at Solopreneur Success Strategies. Please go and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. And also to find out about other programs as well over at jgtips.com slash programs. And over there we have a free uh, mindset magazine for you to check out at jgtips.com backslash mindset offer so welcome thanks for listening and i hope to see you again here tomorrow as this is a seven day a week show 
on mindset, your customer, getting your message out on social media and on your website, talking about strategies, talking about business systems, talking about all kinds of things, including the skills that you need as a solopreneur. So please come back and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. Thank you.